Before I begin, I would like to acknowledge that we are on the unceded territory of the Stalo people. I have been hearing from a lot of anxious people who are worried about the current state of affairs. People are hearing about the situation in Abbotsford and assuming it means the same thing for Chilliwack, but that is not the case. Yes, the flooding in Abbotsford has the potential to impact Yarrow, which is why our engineers are monitoring the situation in Abbotsford around the clock. They are up to date on water levels, dike failures in Abbotsford, the status of the measures Abbotsford is taking, and Abbotsford's pump station. In Chilliwack, we are having some isolated issues and road closures. Please review our website for up-to-date information. I have asked our Director of Engineering to help explain the differences between Chilliwack and Abbotsford in terms of this flood event. Mr. Blaine. Thank you, Mayor Popoff. So it just provides some background for everyone. This is an air photo of the Sumas Basin that was taken on Wednesday, showing the extent of the flooding on Wednesday. Um, you can see here, this is the Sumas River, and that the Sumas River receives all of the flow from the Nooksack River to the south when it overflows its banks. Normally there's a dike that separates the Sumas River from this large flooded area that you see here. That dike breached earlier in the week, and that's why you see the extent of the flooding. Now to orient for Yarrow uh, residents, you can see here Boundary Road, here's Sand Road. Uh, since Wednesday, this flooded area has spread out and there are properties down here around Boundary and Sand Road that have water on them, but that's the extent of the flooding in Yarrow. Uh, staff are monitoring water levels 24 hours a day. Uh, for example, overnight, uh, water levels rose approximately one and a half inches. So Yarrow remains on alert simply as we monitor water levels uh, the city of Abbotsford is working on either repairing the dike breach or constructing a, a bypass dike, and that work has started uh, today. And we're monitoring weather into next week. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Blaine. Our staff are working ar around the clock to monitor the situation, and I personally would like to thank each and every one of them for their hard work. Chilliwack isn't posting updates in the same manner as Abbotsford because our situation is much different. If you live in Yarrow and you want accurate information about how the situation impacts you, please check official City of Chilliwack sources. We post updates at chilliwack.com slash floodwatch, Facebook, and Twitter. We regularly update local media. If there isn't an update, it means the situation has not changed. Your safety is paramount. We would not have rescinded the evacuation order for Yarrow if we were not confident that returning back is safe at this time. We have kept the evacuation alert in place because we also know that unforeseen circumstances can occur. If, if we start to see any issues of concern, we have staff at the ready to go door to door to notify residents and help people to safety. We haven't let our guard down and staff continue to work 24 hours a day on the situation. And again, I thank them again for that. Chilliwack is a hardworking and resilient community. And I know we will get through this together. Thank you.